Back on the GoPro and back on the Land Cruiser. So it is the day before the full drive show. And of course, what do you do the day before the full drive show? You mess around with the car and pull it apart and do other stuff to it. Uh, last weekend, I think it was, I actually put that on the car, which is a brand new Road Vision Stealth light bar. I mean, I wasn't gonna put the install up. Dave's looking at me because I'm talking to my GoPro. Look, there's Dave. Yes, he loves it, he loves it. Anyway, so I put that on there because you know, nobody wants to watch me drilling holes and installing a light bar, so that's a light bar. I'll show you what it's all about and I'll get some footage and show you how bright it is and very neat and tidy little light bar. It fits perfectly on my car for what I needed. Didn't want a crazy massive one. Big shout out to Road Vision. I'll put their details below, check them out. The other thing I'm doing today is, even though the car passed lane change and braking, it's always driven really nicely, just wanted to try and give it a little bit more caster in the front end and just tighten it up, just so it drives just that little bit better. So I've got a set of Super Pro front arms for it, which have got the built-in caster and wheelbase correction in them. So I'm gonna throw them in now. I say throw them in, hopefully it's a quick job. Put them in and then uh, head down to the full drive show in the morning, have a look around, catch up with Sean and all the other crew down there and um, yeah, get lots of photos and stuff. So that is the standard one, the grubby old Toyota one, we did clean up a bit. And this is what we did at Petters, and we put the offset bushes in. This is a few years ago actually, so they're actually starting to get a bit tired, but um, they're just a factory style thing. So. And to do offset bushes is to correct caster, but you can kind of see through there, but if you look at the difference between where that is to that, that shaft is going down there. So there's actually more caster in that arm already. And slightly more length as well, which means that as the arm comes down, it reduces the wheelbase of the car. So that means we'll, we'll turn some of the wheelbase length of the car, even though it's only a two inch lift. That should help it drive a little bit better as well. So I'm going to get the other arm out of the car and then compare them all and then start putting the spanky new ones in. Nice. I'm actually out here tonight testing out, and there's definitely not a plug or a promo video, this new Road Vision Stealth light bar I've got. I've had a couple of light bars on the car before. Back when light bars were all brand new and everything like that, I had one back then was from Snake Racing, and everyone was like, ooh, you know, light bars. And that was a long time ago. And then after that, I ended up with like a curve style one, but it was still quite big and chunky, and I never really liked that big sort of stick out like dog's ball style light bar. So when the guys from Road Vision were like, oh, do you want to try one of the stealth bars out? I'm like, Cool, checked all the measurements, and the one that I put on there absolutely fits perfectly. It's like even down to the edges of where the welds are on the bull bar, they fit right in those edges, and um, it just sits in there, and you can hardly even tell it's there unless you're really looking for it. But obviously, a light bar is a light bar for a reason, and it needs to give light. So I'm out here, it's dusk at the moment, it's pretty dark. And actually, while I'm just looking for a nice piece of road, a couple of other things to mention are, is the PVS wheels all working now. We've just got to add one little cruise control stalk, but the cruise control does work, works really well. So big thanks to everyone that was involved with that. I'll put all the details below. There is also the video about the paddle shift in the Land Cruiser, which some people are probably like, why would you even want to do that? But why not? The other thing I've done too, which is pretty subtle, but um, big thanks to the guys from Burston Auto Parts at Lonsdale, Jamie and Dom and the crew there. I've actually put a set of super pro front arms in the car. And what that means is that they're basically the front 
suspension arms and instead of the factory ones with an offset caster bush these ones are basically caster built into them and they also correct the wheelbase when you lift a car so the nice thing about these is that they don't look like a comp style arm i didn't really want that look at the whole point of this car in the build even though it is a panel van and it's a little bit out there was to keep it subtle and simple and also to not have anything sort of too you know overstated it just needed to be neat and done right look right be engineered be legal and work so to put those arms in still have not wheel aligned it, it just feels like it drives a bit nicer steering's just a little bit more precise so i'm looking forward to getting it back on the wheel liner man that sunset looks nice as well i wish i could really show you what it looked like but um down this road here it is pretty dark and gloomy down there that's basically high beams at the moment so low beams high beams and then light bar so the good thing is, um, as I was sort of going over a crest, I mean, the light bar is not really showing you the distance I'm getting, but it just shows you so much more of what's going on. And for us Aussies, where there's any given second a kangaroo's going to jump out in front of you and want to, like, you know, top itself, it's not, uh, it's not fun in that situation. So with this, I can see a lot more of what's going on. I am really liking this light bar, and uh, I do love the fact that it is stealth in name and in size and fitment. So very, very good job there by the guys at Road Vision. So anyway, nice, uh, quick, simple video just to show you this light bar. Have got more stuff coming on this car very soon. Uh, waiting to get the car into the guys at Solid. I've got a set of uh, billet axles for the back of it from the guys at Road Runner Off-Road. They bring them in from the US. Really nice billet axle with a nice flange on the end. It runs six dowels instead of the factory two dowels. So you're adding, not only have I got the bigger studs in it, like the 100 series studs, got an extra four dowels in it, which just adds all that extra strength so you're not putting all the load on the bolts. But uh, other than that, um, I am uh, in the process of discussion with Mike up at MV Automatics. Mike's been doing my transmissions for ages. He did actually rebuild the trans in this car. It was um, a bit of a birthday rebuild, but um, as uh, anyone knows, the one thing I'm suffering a little bit with this car is because it's got a fairly choppy cam in it, is that it is quite surgy, especially at the lights and down low and taking off. And also because of the where the cam comes in power and torque wise, you sort of lose a bit of that with the torque converter stealing it from you. So we're not gonna go too crazy because I still wanna be able to drive the car and have it not sounding like a drag car but also I want to be able to tow with it as well so we're probably going to go up to maybe like a 22 2300 soil converter and then from there a few little uh, upgrades with the internals of the trans as well just to uh, make it a little bit stronger because there has been some discussion about maybe putting a supercharger on the engine as per before though I do want to do it legally I do want to make sure it's all above board so i have had discussions with the engineer as to how to do it got a couple of hurdles to get over but at the full drive show that i was at recently made a big point of talking about vehicle engineering and that sort of thing and i had tons of people coming up and talking to me about engineering their full drives and what to do and i said first thing you should do is always speak to the engineer first before this car even really got ripped apart we spoke to the engineer he came around and basically at the early stages of pulling stuff off the car before we'd done anything but Consult with your engineer first because I've seen it too many times where people go build a whole car or thinking they're doing it right, they'll go to the engineer and then they'll just have to redo a whole lot of stuff. So my engineer was a bloke called Sock from Speed Garage and MVE. Uh, you'll see other videos that we've done where he did the lane change and braking tests, but in Adelaide he is a gun, really good guy, awesome to deal with, very modest when it comes to the amount of work he has to put in with what it costs to do because it is a fairly decent process and a lot of paperwork for him to do so never underestimate how much work an engineer puts in when they're doing an engineer's report for your car you might think it's just a sign off thing but it's not but uh, it is definitely money well spent because i feel so much more comfortable driving this car around on the road knowing that i'm doing it legally and also from an insurance point of view and stuff like that too i sound like an old fart talking like that but it just I would be too nervous and too uncomfortable driving around in my car knowing that any given minute I could be pulled over and defected and stuff like that and then I'm going to have the car off the road for ages. So if you can, get your car engineered. If you're going to do stuff to it, talk to an engineer first. So anyway, more stuff coming on this, more stuff coming on the ute later on, more stuff coming on the Arian Superbike build. Got some really cool stuff happening with that, plus with world class 
and all the welding gear that I've got from them. We're going to be getting in there and finally getting stuck into it with the TIG and uh, maybe a little bit of MIG, but mostly the TIG to start off with. But anyway, I need something to eat, so I'm going to uh, fire into Wollonga here and uh, see what I can rustle up. So uh, thanks for watching. Speak soon.